Research have put their 300 scientifically bred sheep under the hammer. For the past 13 years, scientists have been experimenting breeding two different types of sheep with some very unique features. Annabelle Tukia reports. A small but enthusiastic crowd flocked to the Tinwald sale yards. Today is a fantastic opportunity to purchase years of breeding and a fantastic lineup of sheep here for you. These are no stock standard ewes. For the past 13 years, Ag Research has been breeding a line that would appeal to farmers and lifestylers for their low maintenance. The first, a breed that sheds its own wool and requires no shearing, and the second, a composite breed that doesn't need its tail docked and has far less wool in areas that would normally create dags. You can see the, the line around here where there's no wool, right down around here, and it just makes them easier to, to shear. But with his research now finished, David Scobie's putting his mob up for sale. And they drew a mixture of curious onlookers and serious buyers. It's the way to go probably, yeah, because sheep are a lot of work, so yeah, especially, you know, if, just if we want a few and don't want to do much, they'll be ideal for that. Southbridge farmer Stuart Brannigan was one of the successful bidders, taking home five low-maintenance ewes. I breed Southdown sheep myself, and I just thought Southdown across seas might go quite good, so I just a bit of a trial really. With all but two of his 300 sheep selling at the auction for an average price of $170, Scobie says it was a great result. Yeah, I've been quite surprised at the enthusiasm for them. Certainly not people buying them to slaughter them at that sort of price. They'll be taken home to breed from them. Scobie's research may now be over, but his sheep will live on, making their new owners' lives just a little bit easier. Annabel Tukia, 3 News.